Hello everyone, welcome to how to make a Plants vs Zombies game in Scratch. One of you guys requested it, so yeah. So first of all, I'm gonna make a new sprite. I'm just gonna call it um maybe yeah. I'm gonna do a pea shooter first. So what I like, I'm just gonna make like a s circle over here. That'll just be the pea shooter for now. Yeah. I'm gonna add a when flag clicked forever. I'm gonna like put it over here. Okay, if touching and uh, and if else, yeah. if touching mouse pointer. Then like uh may set brightness effect to maybe fifty. And this one set to zero. Then if mouse down wait until not mouse down then if touching mouse pointer then create clone myself. So what this makes sure of is that if we click it, but then we drag our mouse pointer somewhere else and it's not touching it, then wait like uh, this. So we click it, if I click it, but then I drag my mouse pointer where it won't do anything, but if it's still there, it'll change color like that. So how will this work? Um, I remember before I like uh, made a seed, a seed thingy, I'll just name it one, so this is gonna be like seed, and here switch costume to seed, and in here make a, when I start as clone, go to, add a repeat until, go to mouse pointer then repeat until mouse down so I'm gonna like switch costume to costume 1 which is the normal one and oh yeah you're probably gonna need to clear graphic effects but since we're still like clicking it I'm gonna set the ghost effect to 50 like there's so if you didn't put it yet and then once it's finished, it set ghost effect to zero. There. Like placing things down. When you place things down like that. So we're gonna need a thing that will tell these when they're already finished. So I'm making a new one called planted for this sprite only. Then here set planted to zero and set planted to one. Now this uh, really makes a big effect because if you just add, so I pretend I'm gonna make like a change color by 50 over here, then wait until planted is equal to one. But you'll see that once we click it, it like already changes color, so like. I usually put a wait 0 seconds, wait until planted so that to make it much more precise and when you click it down. So in here, now I'm going to be making the, like, that, you know, like, shooting thing. Okay, just wait because I'm gonna design my own pea shooter. Bye. Okay, here's my pea shooter. Now, I'm really surprised by this because I haven't played Plants vs. Zombies in like two years or maybe one year. I know months because I didn't really remember, but I don't know how I came up with this. So, I'm just gonna make here an idol, put over here like hitbox. This idol, uh. I like, I forgot what the... Wait, 
I'm gonna like uh, I think I like kind of forgot what the idle animation is maybe it was like um, like uh yeah, I don't care. I'm not gonna add, like, uh, idle animation. I'm not gonna do animations yet, so... In here, like... I'm gonna... Wait, just whatever it is. Yeah, so in here... I'm adding, like, hitbox thing. So go to mouse pointer, switch costume to hitbox, then... I'm gonna leave this blank for now. If touching, then in here, switch costume to idle. There, boom, boom. Now, next one is the shooting thing. Now, most of the Plants vs. Zombies projects that I play in Scratch are just continuously shooting even when there's no zombie there. So, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, this is gonna be like a uh, pretend it's our zombie and just go. Here, set Y to mouse back like that. Now, um, next, what we're gonna do here is this is going to be like the detector, so add a uh, it's going to be the shooting, so I'm just gonna put here forever. Make a new make a block called detect zom boys or anything you want run without screen refresh this is going to be the detection for the zombies oh yes yeah, so and here what I do is rip so I'm gonna make a new one called old X for this sprite only set old X to X position which will be our old X then repeat until yeah just repeat I'm gonna add here a like change x by one. So that means it will keep going here. Repeat until uh, like repeat until x is greater than. So in here I'm just gonna sw uh, like change my x to the most. So in here it says two. Uh, I'm just gonna make it like 235 just to be precise or touching sprite one which is the zombie or anything and then, then in here in order for us not to do like that so if not x position is greater than 235 then this is when we start shooting like so in here I'm gonna make like what pick random 0.3 then you're just gonna make there yeah so how will this work oh yeah I forgot uh, at the end here we have to make a set X to oh, you know, at, at the bottom over here this one I, yeah maybe I should refine it a bit so I'm gonna make it here detect for this spray only here I'm gonna set detect to zero then then like this if not x is greater than then set detect to one then set x to all the x under here if it's here then this will never be able to detect it then I'm gonna add here if detect is equal to one there so now it'll work. Just to make it a bit uh, so that you know there. So if it gets detected, 